What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host. Hi, everyone. I'm Elk Tears. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Frank Lepore Show, starring Frank Lepore, featuring Elk Tears. My name's Elk Tears. I'll be your host for this evening. Come, come along with us on this journey while we explore the vintage cube. Back to you, Frank. And now we go to Frank. Hi, everyone. We're in the queue for another Vintage Cube draft. And the stipulation today is there's not really a stipulation. It's alternating picks with Frank and Elk Tears. I'm Elk Tears. I'll be your host this evening. Thank you. Alongside Frank. Hey, too clever uh, for smart. Thanks for the subscription. Eight months in a row. Or no, eight months and currently on a one month uh, uh, streak. Is that really a streak though? Um. So who gets first pick? Or is this the one we talked about? I feel like we're just we just take the ancestral and then we then we'll start over in the next pack. I don't feel like anyone should have their first pick be decided by power, right? Because you're just gonna take that. Yes, take Ancestral. Okay, and then we'll we'll analyze the next pack a little more thoroughly, because this card is I'm not... Okay with this. All right, you want to get the first pick? Because you were... Uh... I do. Um, God. Mm -hmm. I like Flooded Strand a lot. I like Mind Slaver. I like Brain Freeze. Uh, let's see Flooded Strand. I like it. I like it. That's a good choice. So here's another reason I wanted to steer away from Storm in the in our draft because I think yeah. it's more difficult to do when there's two of us because we're yeah, like going I, through the lines over like the over the voice chat and like it's I just... agree I agree I agree. So hey, I was we like, got, don't we pick got some One hundred. The... These Altier shenanigans are gold. Gold, Jerry. Jerry. Gold. That's a little Seinfeld meme. That is great work, Spaghetti Toucher. Can everyone hear me okay? I'm keep getting paranoid that I'm too far away from my computer because I'm kind of leaning back a little bit. For those curious uh, curious at home, I work at a standing desk, so I brought a chair into my little home office, and I'm I'm not right up against my computer. So please let me know in the chat if you can't hear me. Okay, great. No one. Who are you talking to? You're almost louder than me. You probably are a little louder than me, but that's just your natural. That's your default mode, really. So what? <laughs> I know, oh. I'm going into a tunnel. Did you need loud? I have Jewish grandmother on the phone. <laughs> control magic? I just like control magic. I think that's fine, right? Is that better than swords? Because we don't have to be white per se right now. So I'm like, is the is the appeal of staying on blue better than the versatility or the 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 efficiency yeah. of swords? I like I like control magic. I'm gonna take control. Magic. I like control magic too. Ooh, this is a I like this pack. Oof, we got a burden. You know how I feel about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have a a black green fetch land and a white blue fetch land. Okay, so I like click. I have been very impressed with angel of sections. You have or haven't? I have. Same. I always, I'm I, like. That, that used to be a really impressive card. Same. I think the same thing. I'm like, wow, this card, it seems like just a boring 3-4 flyer, but it always, you like, it's always real hard to deal with. I think that's my pick. And that's I've never it. even actually had to in embalm it, even though it's right, even though it's just super useful. Right. I will say I don't love taking it fourth pick. Uh, I think actually, so... I'm more of a fan of fair cards than most people, I think, because I think a collection of fair cards keeps the other cards in check. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a fourth pick treachery. I was getting excited about the Stoneforge. No. Yeah. That was the first thing I saw. Okay. Well, that sucks. I wanted that Stoneforge, but I guess I guess we'll manage. Uh, this is me now. So what are we doing? Are we doing just like a kind of blue-white control deck? And that's what it's kind of looking at. Like, I well, mean, there is Deceiver. I know, I know we're not really set up at all for but it's, I don't think, really like, don't, like, okay, so look. Like, I would just put this over here, and now we're mono blue. Don't even worry about okay. it. Okay, so I think it. if this was a paper draft, I would take the If we were drafting my cube. I think that's fine. 
I just don't think there's anything else that amazing in the pack. I think thirst is fine. I, I do like Mox. Actually, I've liked Mox more than uh more as the time as time has gone. Um, I think it's just Colonnade. I think this is yeah, fine that's to be. What I was mm, well, um, I think it's Seacrum because yeah, we're looking good else. on our blue white fixing here. Yeah, it's gonna be a Tundra now. You ready? I'm ready. Are you? Hold on, wait. I'm going to a tunnel. Oh, resto. Okay, anyway. I got. I like a little resto. Me too. I do like. Oh, uh, yeah. What? What? What do you like? No, take resto. It's I'm your taking pick. it. Take resto. I wanted to know what you liked. I still want to know your thoughts, though. I know it's an off-color signet, but I just I do like signet. Why don't you know um, that? I like. Sort of body of mine. Okay, when we get to the last two cards in the pack, I'm not gonna click it. Right? I'm just gonna let it. Oh, this is Bane Slayer for sure. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to click anything in the last in the last two cards. I want to see how quickly they. Ooh, I like this. Oh, click wield. This is my pick, right? Yeah, you have five seconds though. Be you got to uh, click, click, click. Really? A million click. Okay, three. Oh, the stone forge came back. All oh, right, nice. I'm just gonna I'm gonna let it automatically pick, and my hands are up. Okay. Wait, are your oh, hands up? Oh, did you see that? They give you like two seconds on the second to last pick. Wait, did. <sighs> There was I like didn't a get red to light land there. There was a Needle Spires and an Amiria Angel, I think. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying because I would have taken the Needle Spires for sure. Also, wow, it's like, but you can see, like, I looked at the time and there was like literally one second when when the second pick when the second pack showed up. Okay, this is like not cool. I agree. I feel like you get to submit a complaint for it. Also, this pack's whatever. I do like Snapcast. Oh, we're taking Snapcast. We got Ancestral Recall, my dude. Yeah. Okay. Not with that attitude. Yeah, I couldn't even see the cards. If someone clips that, you can actually see what what time the timer starts at when the second when the when the two card pack is is popping up. Frank, I don't want to scare you, but I think I can hear Elk Tears talk. I don't see him. Um, um, I don't know who that is. Blah. This is my pick, right? Yeah, I mean Path and Mentor are pretty decent. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I'm trying to decide between the two. We also Path goes good with Snapcaster. I think Path, yeah. Makes yeah, I like Snapcaster Path. better. Oh, Council's Judgment? Oh, God, yes. Yes, this is like premium removal. That is, I think that is my favorite removal spell in the entire queue. Oh, same. It does It does everything. Ugh, we could add Time Twister and Leobald in our blue-white deck. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like you do. I like you do. I like Sun Titan here, but do we have enough early plays? I feel like we have enough well, top end already. I don't think we do yet, but I mean, I think there's still time. It's either Sun Titan or Luteral Core. Yeah, I think uh, Sun Titan's just better, but our deck also doesn't seem like it's exploiting the graveyard in any way, so I don't know. It's, it's up to you. It's your pick. Yeah, this I kind of like close. Luteral Core better. Is that stupid? No. I kind of want Luteral Core. I'm going to take it. Oh, here's a batter skull. That goes well with our Stoneforge Mystic, so I'm going to take that. Nice. These picks are going quick. Oh, I think I, like, um, I think I like what might happen here. We'll see. I like Search for Is that crazy? Nope. I was. That's what I wanted because I also like that this pack doesn't have much competing with it. Yeah. There's like nothing competing with it, so we actually get There's like a... nothing else. I mean, maybe Spiral Canal for a splash. All right, here we go. We either take Gideon, which is great, or we can take Volcanic Island. I don't think that's great, though. I mean, like, the odds... Like, we can't really realistically splash, like, a Kiki Jiki, so we'd have to splash, like, specifically right. Splinter Twin. Right. I do like Volcanic Island. Our four-drop slot is... So... I don't think it'd be the worst thing in the world to take. No, Gideon. I think I like I like Gideon here because I think we're just fine as like the, just a blue white deck here. Yeah, I would Ooh. like maybe a counter spell. Ooh, I really like Tamio. So do I. Tamio is another card that's grown on me, and I'm like this. This is just very impressive. We do have a lot of five drops though. I mean, the only other option would be explosion expansion. I guess let's just take Tamio. Yeah. I think Tamio is just straight, just straight better. Oh, Manatide. Tie them. We're, 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 we're going to get them. Poker? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. If, I don't care about Revoker that much. Okay. Our deck's looking slight, looking looking spicy. I'm 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 a fan. Yeah. I'd love a mana leak somewhere along the road. God, give us mana drain pack three. Oh, mentor came back. Yeah, that's pretty gas. Yeah, let's take mentor. 
All right, again, we're going to do the, the second, uh, the two packs, the two card pack. I just want to, I want you to look after the third pack, look at the timer on the lower right so you can see how many, like, how many seconds are, are you, how, how many seconds you start with basically when the pack gets opened. Yeah, uh, Looter does wear a sword very well. I can't, there is an ad. All right, hold on. Unbelievable. There you go. L Tears is actually just Paul Cheon. That's interesting. I'm going to take oh, Selfless. Spirit. Yeah, there's nothing in here for us. I don't know if I want to put it in the deck, but... I'll put you in the deck, you scumbag. Got him. No. Rude. Got him. Is we already got 20 playables? This is my pick or your pick? Is my pick, Journey of Nowhere. Yeah. All right. All right, three cards... Three cards, let's look at... I'm going to look at three cards. Three cards start with six seconds. But let's look at the two cards. Two cards. Like, oh my god, there was zero seconds on the clock for that pick. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Did you see it? Just It just literally yes, went right in the pack, ridiculous. and it, there was no point where it had more than zero seconds on the clock. That's ridiculous. Um, So this is my pick, right? Uh... Yeah, that's not an impressive pack. We're only two colors. Can we take Ancient Tomb? What do you think? Possibly. I like Ancient Tomb. I like Oro Signet's also good. That is true. That is true. Yeah, ugh, but Ancient Tomb. Yeah, let's take Oro Signet. My concern with Ancient Tomb is that the blue white deck tends to have a lot of double white, double white, double blue, double yeah, white. You're very, very so, true. like, I, I like oftentimes Signet. you're not going to be able to play a three drop. Oh, Jitte. Oh, actually, Soulfire Grandmaster could be very good with the Ancestral Recall. Oh, yes. We have a sword and a batter skull already, so I think we're good on on I those. Like Sower too, but Sower might come back. Sower probably will come back. It is just busted. Oh, man. It's tough. <laughs> I think Grandmaster might come back. I agree with you, actually. I think it might be Sower. Over Jit? I don't know. Jit might come back too, ironically. Yeah, no, people ain't got no respect. The only streamer that respects equipment for some reason. Yeah, I'll take the jit. Sure, I think that's fine. Oh, I think so. Ooh, God, I really want that remand, but also Azoria signal. I also like Misty Rainforest a lot too. I feel like our deck has. I feel like I, I want a signet. I, oh, I Sorry. definitely. I always want a signet. Yeah, I want a Zorius. Our signet. mana base is going to be fine. I think we're two colors. Yeah, we're solidly two colors. I just. I kind of want that remand too. Ooh, oh, Phyrexian hello. Metamorph. Is that what we're looking at? I like that. I also do like Impulse, but really, I would have said Aleshnorn over Impulse. Oh, I didn't see the Aleshnorn. Duh. Because we have Ancestor, we have Looter, we have Search. Like we have a bunch of card filtering and things. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ooh, can we cast an Elish? No, I like Metamorph here. I think Metamorph's good. I think Metamorph is, is better. Especially if the uh, the Sower doesn't come back. Oh, this pack is... Here you go, man. Have fun. <laughs> Jeez. If we hit nine mana, we can Time Warp and Soulfire Grandmaster if it comes back. God, I do like Time Warp, especially since we have two Planeswalkers. Yeah, I don't mind Time Warp. But again, like... This, this is good, guys. Is good, Rich. Yeah, this pack. this pack. Like, is I like chaos. image. I like guys. Hopefully, one of these things are going to come back. I think I like time warp though. I can see I think time, time warp. warp. I think time warp can be pretty busted with the stack. It's still it's still extra. Wow. All right, I'm just going to take Hollowed Fountain here. Yeah, I like that. It's a searchable dual land. So yeah, there you go. If we're not getting Tundra, that's a good. We have to make four cuts though. Oh, Flicker Wisp? I didn't even remember. I didn't even just get Flicker Wisp. Oh, and Deceiver Exarch is a pretty easy cut, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, this is mine, right? Yeah. Just... Glenel Andrew. Yeah, just Windmill Slam it. Yeah. Oh, we got Lyra. Now we got Lyra and Baneslayer. That's nice. Oh, your pick. Um... How many creatures do we have that can crew copter? Not a lot, right? Not a ton. I'm always reluctant in the. I like Fates Fetters here. So do I. It's just it's just fine. 
I wish we had more three drops than four drops. But... Well, once we get to the third pack or the third third pick, when we have three pa three picks left, um, basically everything else after that's useless because we just don't get it. But I still can't get over how quick those are. They're just taking those last. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Like, like why? Oh, here's the sower came back. This is my pick, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got face fetters, so I'll take sower. Still need three cuts. Like, we're getting all the... I mean, like... It didn't work as a three drop, yeah. Right. We're getting pretty sweet blue-white cards, so... Yeah. Oh, Parallax Wave? Yeah, it seems fine. So, I mean, it's the only thing to take here, but... All right, this is four. That's more for aggro decks, I guess. Did y'all know they are drastically changing how the play lobbies work? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna update that this Wednesday with the wow, Alistair and Impulse both came back. Holy crap! I like Impulse because we have Snapcaster and Mentor. So. Yeah, me too. And I just don't know if we're gonna be able to cast Alistair. No, right. we didn't get a, four a seconds. Sweeper. Three, two. I'm gonna take Scrubland. Okay. And then, oh god, oh wow! I wanted Archangel Avacyn, but we got Thalia. Damn it! It literally had like two seconds on the clock. It's unreal. That's so annoying. I wanted that Avacyn. That's unreal. I needed that Avacyn. I mean, we already have Baneslayer and Lyra. I think we'll be I fine. Know, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll survive without the Avacyn. We do have to make five cuts, though, so... I think we could cut... Yeah, do, we want, do we want both Signets? I was thinking that, too. I knew you were going to say Boros Signet. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Yeah, let's just cut Boros Signet. Um, Is Mana Tide too cute? I think so. I feel like Mana Tide's a card you add... When you might need an extra playable. Yeah, I also just think we're tapping out a lot in this deck. Yeah, I can I can get behind that. I think we got to cut one five drop. I agree. It might just be Bane Slayer. I, I think, think we have enough power, player. but like I think this we is the... that card in. I think I Both think as far as five drop angels go, the only one we need is the angel of sanctions. Because I want to keep everything else. I want to keep treasure time warp Tamia. Um, two more cuts. I don't know. This is hard. Is yeah, I agree. All of our really do do anything. Nope. For us? I was thinking that same thing because we don't have a ton of creatures. I think we can cut Restoration Angel, and I think we can cut Control Magic. Really? I don't know if I cut Control Magic. Or maybe Sower. We do Sower have is more fragile Control Magic. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, that 2 2 body isn't really often, you know, give you a. Oh, uh, I don't think we could ever make this a 16 lander. That's a little aggressive. I'm reluctant to cut too many creatures because we have three equipment right now. I guess this isn't really an equipment. This is just a creature itself. So it's 10 creatures. Well, how many creatures? Oh, I see. Um, we could also just cut one of the, the equipments. I could see that. What do you cut, Jite? I think Jitte is the worst against non-creature decks. Yeah. And this is 23. Yeah. I think that's fine. We can board like Jitte and Lyra's against like aggressive decks or creature decks. I like it. Our mana Second base is thought. also very, very nice. And if we had Lingering Souls, we could splash it off this Scrubland. Scrubland. Uh, 5, 8, probably 7, 6, right? Frank, Black Lotus or Ancestral, what are you going to take? <sighs> wow, that's actually really good. Um, God, I think is it pack one pick one? Yeah, I think it's I think it's still Black Lotus. Interesting. Why for you? Different? I agree with you, but I feel like I know so many people that would all say recall. I don't think there's a wrong choice per se. I think this is good. You like this? We're good. I like it. It's hot. All right, let's do it. Let's get in there. My nipples are hard already. They've been hard the whole time, my man. Well, after I you know got up, got some water, went to the bathroom. They, you know. Oh, they got a little flaccid, but now they're they now got they're a little flaccid. Now they're a little. Now they're at. Listen, I'm, you know, I'm going to be 30 pretty soon. I can't keep rock hard, you know, nonstop. Yeah, I'm asking a lot of you. I think. Uh, I like this hand. Yeah, it's got blue man. It's got white man. It's searcherous. Kind of, what more do you want? This I don't. Like, I don't want anything else. This looks like a modern deck. This just looks like modern blue like control. Has to be Paul Chion on the phone. Nailed it. Can somebody explain that bit to me? I, I don't get it. Uh, Paul Chion is notorious for drafting like blue-white grindy, like dirtily control decks, which is why they call it blue-white Chions. 
Oh, I see. So whenever there's a blue-white deck, they're like, oh, we drafted Cheons, I see. I see. And every time there's like a bunch of blue-white changes to the cube, they're like, oh, Paul Cheon must have made this cube. Oh, I see. So you're Paul Cheon. Um, I'm actually Elk Tears. Paul Cheon. Hi, everyone. My name is Elk Tears. Welcome to the Frank Lepore Show. Up, oh, mirror match. Hi, Dr. Nick. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. You might remember me from such streams as the 15-hour stream. <laughs> Did you go to Hollywood Medical School, school too? <laughs> oh, man. Those early Simpsons were just gas. Dude, I, I can't stop. Like, whenever I'm just, like, falling asleep, like, I just throw on them. Oh, that's a good idea. From what season? One through nine. Just... Season one was a little rough for me. I feel like it was too close to the Tracy Ullman animation and the voices oh, sure, and stuff. Sure. Like there was a great stride. Oh, that's a. I just if we if we hit a white, do we just counsel's judgment this? Yes, I think so. Well, then we have also Snapcaster for it later. That's actually that's actually great. Oh God. I'm gonna graveyard this. Snapcaster is so much better than Torrential Gear Hulk. It's not even close. All right, just pass, I guess. Would have liked to have a white there. That sucks. I would have loved to have a white there. Well, that's fine. For all their mana, oh, they have I'm shaking, nothing I'm to threaten us with. Is it going to be white mana, you think? What if it's no mana at all and then we just get it's stuck on it? It's not four? What does that even mean? What's he saying right now? He's saying for all your. Yeah, it is. For whatever... all your mana. Yeah it's, whatever... all your yeah, it's whatever you want it to be, man. Ooh. I know. It's like, do we do it? Like, do we just hope do there's we... a... It's just going to feel real bad if we If it's not a land, right. And then don't draw a land, right? But is it going to feel any better if we just play this and pass either? Like... Your it's... call, dude. <clears throat> Both... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to graveyard it. All right. God, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow, you're just throwing Glenn out there naked. Are you? Well, because, like, we, I, I don't want to, like, not do anything this turn and then wait for a land next turn. Like, oh, you're just, just throwing her out naked. Are you looking forward to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I am. I'm looking forward I, to it a uh, lot. I hot take, uh, you know, most, like, uh, younger filmmakers, I feel like, of my generation don't have. I actually love Tarantino still. I actually even, even in his later years, I just think he still makes so many entertaining films. I agree with you. Oh, I think I think I think a lot of his most entertaining films were in his recent years, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um I also I have a real soft spot in my heart for forties through sixties Hollywood period pieces. Oh, totally. Like that's like my favorite. That's like my jam. I think you just make so many cool things. Almost, so many cool stories so, take place in the world. I'm trying to figure out why they tapped all of their blue for this. Yeah, it's kind of... And I'm also trying to figure out, like, do we just let this go? I think so. Cause, I like, do, too. It's missing a land drop this turn, essentially. Yes! Nice! So do we counsel judgment? Yeah, we counsel judgment. I think, the... we, I think we judgment the control magic, Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah. And then then we'll have Glenn activation. Up. Yeah, we got Dubs Glens. Yeah, L.A. Confidential is my jam. The Rockstar game L.A. Noir is my jam. Like, all of these, like, early 40s through 60s period pieces in, in California are, like, they're just, like, they hit that spot for me where you got, like, the, the, the 60s, the 50s and 60s aesthetic. Like, everybody dresses cool. The buildings and architecture are fantastic. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm beyond excited for that movie. I've, I've uh, and it's like two hours and 20 minutes. I haven't the trailer at all. Oh, look at this idiot. Do I just oh, Snapcaster and block? I'm really tempted to just... Oh, I guess because it's not it's not attacking this turn, so I guess that's... No, yeah. What if we treachery this guy? That'd what if we kind of funny. What if we treachery well, and then time warp? warp. Yeah. Oh. And then if we hit a land, we can snap time warp? Oh! <laughs> I do like that a lot. Yeah, I'm looking... It's looking good. They do have three blue up, though. And six colorless. What is in their hand? 
He can vote for the creature, sure, but he didn't, so. No, he can't, right? It's, it's they own, right? Oh, you don't control. Starting through each player votes for a non-land permanent. No, they can't vote for... Each player votes for a non-land permanent. You don't control. Oh, they could have, I guess. Yeah, they could have voted oh, for the wow. creature. That's pretty Thankfully, great. Thankfully, opponent was uh, just as careless as we were. Yeah, council's judgment's kind of confusing. Wait, they did vote for the creature. That's why I didn't, we didn't get it back. Oh, duh. <laughs> I was like, I'm literally thinking about it. I'm like, wait, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> I was so into this Hollywood conversation that I was like, I wait. Like... Oh, my God. That's good, man. That's a good play. Paper magic. Like, you can't have, like, fun chats during it. I kind of want to keep this, right? Because if we hit one more land, we get to go Time Warp Treachery. Yeah, but I'll stay at three blue up. I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll bin it. I'll bin it for you. Take it, draw it anyway. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yo, I can have this. I feel like if they had counterspell, they wouldn't have played Glenelanger with all all of their blue mana, right? Like that's my that's the impression I'm getting. That's true. Like because they could have actually kept up at least one blue, or used Grim Monolith and kept up multiple blues. All right. Well, I'm sorry I made us spin the land. No, that's fine. What? That's I wasn't even I wasn't even referring to that. Okay. Well, now, well, I mean, now we can't do it. Oh, God, you get that thing when you go to combat, too. Yeah, so you get one each turn. I thought it was upkeep for some reason. Oh, no, you're out of your you're out of your ever-loving mind, you maniac. Um, you're out of your element. Donnie, you're out of your element. Yeah, I'm, trying I'm very to think. excited for that movie. I'm very excited for... Uh... What else is coming out here? The Coen brothers are making a, a film adaptation of Macbeth, starring Denzel Washington and Francis McDormand, which I'm very excited for. I'm a big Denzel Washington fan. Oh, I I, 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 would, I would pay money to watch Denzel Washington book. To Denzel, to watch what? To watch Denzel Washington read the phone book. He's just... <laughs> I, yeah, I, he's, I saw such a soft spot for him. He's very good! Do we just... No, we're not mentoring here, right? We can bin mentor. Yeah, what does that do, really? Because now we get to flip as Kanta and hit a land here, right? Hollow Fountain, maybe? Maybe Hollow Fountain? A Tamiyo. Did we do it? No, we got a Tamiyo, but that's still pretty I good. I like Tomato. Oh, we can tap their Grim Monolith? Jesus. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it! Forget about it. And we can still Snapcast or Time Warp later. We still have the option to What's happening? What's going I'm, on? Or I'm just waiting for my opponent. Take it easy. Kelsier, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. My phone battery got really low, so I had to turn the stream off, so I can't see chat. Did God, they say anything it's... cool? Uh, they said Elk Tear's voice sounds like a grandmother. Um. Your mom sounds like a grandmother. I'm wondering if we attack with everybody, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Well, Tam oh, oh we can also back for tomato. We can also play Tamio and draw two, draw three cards. Oh, let's do that. No, let's wait till next turn. And we'll draw four cards, and we'll just tap down the Grim Monolith. Does that sound better? Okay. Why does Elk Tears sound old? I don't know. I don't know. My name is Elk Tears, not Elk Deer. <laughs> I thought your phone wasn't plugged in. <laughs> Oh, I lost my charger. All right, well, we're tapping down this Grimmy boy. Oh, they tapped it in response. Oh, uh -oh. they're going to untap it. That's clever. That's very clever of them. See? God, they're not, they're not missing any of the plays here. Yet they tapped all the blue. Hmm. That was interesting. Because even if we don't try to get it back, like, if we play something huge... Like a treachery, for example. And then, yeah. like, they can I, still I, sack I it so we get a 1-1 one, one instead of a 2-2, two, two, right? Like, I mean, it just seems better to keep it up. I think it was just a misplay. I think they... Maybe. Oh, no, a tomato's getting a little peck on the cheek. <laughs> oh, from her little goblin grandson. Oh, come here, little gobby. Give me, a, give, give your grandma tomato a kiss. Give your grandma. To, oh, what if we metamorph and then, like we? Uh, what if we metamorph the the Rabble Master, and then oh, uh, negative Tamio to draw like five cards? 
Wait, what the hell is in their hand? I don't know. Four card, four nonsense cards. I like that play. Just do it. Let the drain, buddy. I think that might be too greedy. I think we can draw like four cards here instead, and I think we're still fine. Yeah, but are you really living? That's the question, right? You can call that living? I don't. We're dealing eight here. Hand, I, don't, I don't know, my dude. They just have like Eldrazi in their hand that they can't. Yeah. I feel like this game is over. Uh oh. They're gonna They're gonna disallow our Tamio activation. <laughs> that okay. Seems, that seems fine. I'm actually tempted to snapcast to their Grimonolith here. Because no, they have, they have, well, they have nine mana, so I'm wondering if they have like Ulamog and they just play it for ten. I mean, sure. Like I'm just trying, your, to, your I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how we not, how we don't lose this game. And I think with this, with this board state, I think we're actually uh, way ahead if we can just keep them off their, 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 their degeneracy. Okay, but well, watch out—they might untap it in response. They could, they could do that. And then they might uh, message you in the chat and say, can I hang on to this mana next turn? Can I hold this? <laughs> oh, we, they see, we, that just wins you the game. Oh, okay. Take my money. Okay. Wow. Go what home, I'm man? drunk. One Elk Beers buck. <laughs> just want to say thanks for being so consistent with putting up your stuff on YouTube. Been in hospital the last few weeks and it's really helped. Jack, thank you so much for saying so, man. I'm really glad. Hope your, uh, hope your recovery goes well, my friend. Really appreciate it. We don't have any way to... It's really weird when you have uh, blue-white and you have no way to deal with artifacts, really. That is weird. Like, directly. I mean, obviously we have, like, Council's Judgment, but... I wonder if Mantis... Well, hey, is... Council's Judgment definitely... It dealt with an artifact, so... But... What if you take Path out and put Mantis... I'm gonna, I want to Mantis someone right now. Flicker with steals with an artifact temporarily. <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess that's. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. What did we see? We saw literally like control magic. They had control magic. They had a monolith and, and a, a rabble master. A rabble master. That's it. I don't know. Their deck was weird. I went sideboard to address. I just want mana tithe. That's all I want. What do we cut for mana tithe? Um, sower maybe. We didn't see a single creature. Well, except for the one we stole. That was our creature. <laughs> No, the the Goblin Rabble Master. Oh, right. Yeah. I can see that being a meme where you're like, that wasn't their creature, that was our creature. That Rabble <laughs> Master was our creature. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh we got one Milk Deers. I mean, sure. one. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping this hand for sure. I ideally, go we, the bathroom now. ideally, we draw Sea Chrome Coast. I need to change my pants. Sea Chrome Coast. Let me live it one time. I hate it, but I love it. Come on. Give me the coast. Give me the coast. Give me All the right. coast. I'm still going to run out planes first. Yeah. Wendy, give me the coast. I don't know what that's from. It's from Shining. Give me the bat, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. you're... Okay, you paraphrased. And not, I guess it's not a paraphrase, really. That's just a change of the quote. I replaced bat with coast. Right. I, I understand what you did. It was a wordplay. Yeah, I guess it was. What do we do here? Leave that tied up all Just day. board out your creatures. That's the only real way to deal with control magic. Yeah, that's true. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one Schmilk beer bears. <laughs> Is this weird enough? Yeah, that's good, Schmilk bears. Thank you so much. We a got classic a classic elk, elk tier switcheroo, as we say. Elk beers, milk deers, and schmilk bears. This is a lot of uh a lot of variation. What's happening? Are you getting a lot of bits or something? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of right. don donations. It, it, it's really uncomfortable uh, not hearing the sound effect of you getting donations and stuff. I understand. And just hearing you respond, it's like watching like an episode of Seinfeld with like, a laugh track or something. It's. I think that would still be funny, whereas an episode of like Friends without the laugh track is less so. Or, or like I was thinking of Big Bang Theory because there's all those Big Bang Theory like episodes the on like just... on like uh, shows on YouTube where it has with the laugh track. What? That shows unsettling to watch, even with the laugh track. Are they right. actually playing around mana time? This is actually pretty comical.
I mean, it's just go, do we just go mind. mentor and keep up ancestral, or do we go mentor and keep up? Uh... I mean, keep up mentor, keep up tithe, right? Because uh, if we play ancestral, we're gonna have to discard. Milk Duds donated a dollar, and it says I'm candy. And then Hodge Galashi says, "Old Smelk Tears can't hear this." <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. My concern is that they just play like a six drop and the land, and then it doesn't matter. But I also like, eh, it's fine, whatever. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one antelope booger is donated a dollar. <laughs> Do you not have a charger that you can just plug your phone into to not miss these? I do. It's just, it's, it is plugged in. It just, it's far away from it. Well, that's really sad. Here, I'll, I'll move it over. I'm being lazy. Well, yeah, you're really, you're, you're missing the, a lot of the efficiency here of, you know. Okay, here I am. Uh, antelope booger. It's like an elk tier, but different. Trinket Maggio. Wow, do we just... We tied this for sure, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, well... Let no. them use their Grim Monolith. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, they're gonna use it? Wow, that's aggressive. They know they have to pay to untap that, right? Shut up and take my money! I don't money. think they knew. Cantaloupe Blogger. Even more different. <laughs> oh, my God. Give us a land next turn and we keep that Monolith tap down forever. Well, we have an Ancestral Recall, so... Oh, I see what you're saying. We need two lands, I guess. No, we need one land. Mana yeah, Crypt. Land Woo! Oh, that's rude. Their plays are actually been have been very solid. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did it. Nice. We did it. Oh god. Feels we got good. Play. This we just tapped your monolith, right? Now they can't untap it. I'm having a very good time. Yeah, this deck is gas. This is a spicy, spicy tomato. Shut up and take my money. Canadensis lacry lacrimus. One Latin buck. What is that? What does that mean in Latin, though? Is that dog milk? <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm going through a tunnel. <laughs> All right, so they have five mana, which is good. That's good. I appreciate five mana. Oh, Factor Fiction, huh? Oh, look at all these. Look at all these spicy gems. Ooh. I don't care about Thunder Wait, Moth. Did they play their main phase? Yeah, this is a main phase. I think they're looking yeah. for a land. Yeah, I think... I think the double, double red card in Mana Vault. That's literally uh, what I was thinking, because I want them to actually cast this, because um, then we can steal it. Yeah. But, like, if they don't do anything this turn, and they just take a bunch of dirt, one, two, three, four, they have five mana next turn, so they can only cast one thing. Right. Like, control magic we can deal with with Glenelinger Archmage. Like, I think this is actually fine. Same with Jace, yeah. Right, like, none of those are super exciting, and they took the three, sure. Nice. So they have mana crypt. Uh, no, they don't have mana crypt. They have PNLR, control magic, and Jace. Yeah, if we if we just stick this, oh, they discarded a Sundering Titan. That's interesting. Weird. Yeah, let's just stick old Glenny. That's that's old Aunt Glenny. Um, Hello? actually, if we just keep their Mana Crypt tap down, like that's pretty comical, right? Oh yeah, I guess so. Like they only have three mana then, and they're going to be taking the damage from Mana Crypt. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. So now oh, they have. I would, be, I would be tilting so hard right now. They took two four drops and a three drop, and they only have three mana. That seems good. <laughs> Naj Gulashi, y'all just forgot about me out here. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. You okay? Are you all right, man? You having a you having a breakdown over there? I'm fine. Everything's gonna be fine. We are uh, 
just giving our opponent a big fresh pile of the business over here. Uh, resolves. I'm gonna I'm gonna ancestral here, and they're probably gonna concede. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Unless they have force of will in hand. I'm giving them a compliment because I think it's true. I'm like, in fairness, your plays have been solid, though. Like, I mean. Eight mounds still can't find double red in two games. Yeah. Opponent's clearly a good player with the exception of that tap all my islands out. That was, yeah, but outside of that, like, I, I forgot about, like, oh, I'll just tap my grim monolith to play that. Like, they also played mana crypt and then used the the remaining two and the mana right. crypt to untap the monolith. We missed like, that. We, their stuff we has missed... been. They also we missed the council's judgment thing. Yeah, like they they their plays have been great. Um, let's play search for Escanta here, and that'll trigger the prowess. We can also tap down the uh, thing, and then we can impulse in combat, which is a lot of damage. Yes. God, mentor is so busted when it goes off. I think we I think we're good here. So they're all, I guess they block here, block here. They take six. Mm -hmm. Die to their mana crypt. Oh yeah, that's true. Mana crypt could just, uh, oh, they, they just, they didn't want to, they didn't want to see it. They're like, I ain't even going to look. They're like, I'm not, I'm not going to lose the game after clicking a button that says tails. Hold on. I'm not, yeah, I'm gonna be like, I don't want a tails never fails over here and then fail. Our deck, uh, That's true. I guess control magic plus cameo tap would too. You know, but there's okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be real right now. Um, there's definitely times in games where my opponents are so far behind that I actually don't make the most, uh, like, devastating plays because it just yeah, feels bad. Like I actually feel guilty. I'm guilty of that too. So I'll actually also, I'll play the my, more conservative play because I don't think I'm going to lose the game due to the conservative play. But I do think it feels better for the opponent to not be like, "Wow, I've actually just demolished here." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I never want to be that guy that's like still had all these. Did you see how far ahead I am? I really hate that. I mean, I don't I don't hate when people do it because obviously that's just magic. You're going to play the best cards, but like I don't like the feeling I get when I do that to someone. I agree. But I'm also guilty of just sometimes like uh, when I when I'm so far ahead, I just like I'm in the driver's seat. Like I just kind of it's not that I'm playing with my food. I just like that's what I don't want to do. Well, no, I guess I would kind of be doing that, but I don't I don't feel like it. I'm not pers I'm not uh, projecting that. You know what I mean? No. So I think like like the I would mulligan this. <laughs> you think? I, I think the bad. I would keep this. You want to keep flourishing uh, on top? No, I bottom that. Agree with all your decisions thus far. Um, I think the bad part of playing with your food is one of your streams recently, the thing where someone like mm -hmm. played Brand Dynamo to tap Brand Dynamo just to lightning strike you or something. Like, right. I was like, that's completely right. You and tapped out. Oh, this hand just got unmulliganed. It just got real good. Snarky Zero, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the support. Really? You want to start with the plans there? Are you being serious? I'm an ancestral on their turn. You're an ancestral? Yeah. Alright. Why wouldn't I? We go up to I know. We, I like saving that sometimes. But you're not we're not discarding. Like we go up to eight cards, we play a land and something else. Like it's not like we're losing any cards here. I guess we're gonna play search next turn now. Yeah, we could have also played Stoneforge, but that's gonna draw us a card, so we'd have to discard. Oh, they have batter skull. Maybe we just path their Oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm not trying to deal with a batter skull right now. I'm not about that life. I I ain't trying to deal with no batter skull right now. I ain't about I ain't about that life either. Yeah, we'll just go planes. And we can't even let you. Yeah, what should they order for dinner tonight? What should Elk Tears order for dinner other than sushi, which he already suggested? Oh, we got a little mirror match here. Ooh, 
Well, we just we we pumped them on lands, which is unfortunate. Oh wow, Misha's workshop. And oh, your God. and your use. Oh, they're just gonna cast the batter skull. I hate that. I hate when people successfully cast things with workshop. I just feel like it's <laughs> such an over. It's just such an overrated cube card. It's like I just feel like it's. I agree. It's so cool. limited. Like, but I mean. <sighs> yes, yeah, so obviously they just did something crazy with it, but it's just like I just hate when like they pluck like one of the most powerful cards in a constructed format and throw it in cube and never like oh my god take it. Right, I disagree with that because it's like it's it's basically kind of like a maze of it, where like it can cast five cards in your deck. Yeah, yeah, it just feels bad. But whatever, bro. Going play and we don't. Yeah, but not yet. We'll, we'll be good. We got this. Curry with Helenon. I actually, man. Oh crap! You're glitching a little bit. I am. Yeah, you're breaking up. How am I breaking up? My internet's... I haven't dropped any frames. Just from... And this, and this voice call. Is it because you haven't paid for your internet? Because you got the plumbing this month instead? Maybe. Hmm. It's fascinating. Well, now I just want to steal their batter skull, but I can't do that. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, we could just take it, right? Wall. What? Well, let's do that. Yeah. That's what I meant. I didn't mean batter skull. I meant batter battle ball. It's not a recurring right, lotus right. though. It's for, for, for artifacts, sure. Yeah, go for it. Knock yourself out. All Just right. end the call and pick it back up. Hello. Hi. Grandma. Sweetie. <laughs> Is this Matthew? Hello? Oh, man, what's going on? The audio is still pretty bad. Matthew? Weird. Uh, Matthew, it's grandmother. Oh my god, what are they doing? I don't know. Why isn't all your stuff out already? Oh, uh, Blightsteel Colossus. Man, our turn. Oh, Inkwell Leviathan? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Council's judgment, please. One time for a council judgment. Ju one time. Boy, they've got nine men off this thing, off of off of this workshop here. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Look, they have an off color signet too. Don't they all? Or not too. They they do. As well. Well, no, we don't. Oh, you mean I see what you're saying? Yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Wow, this dude's really a scumbag. You got trample and island walk. You have shadow. Look at all these unblockable abilities that that Magic used to put on their cards. And if they didn't have all these idiots, we could just stomp on, right on over with this guy. Do we just, do we just play Search Res content and keep up Stoneforge for uh, Batter Skull? I think so. That seems good. I mean, we're taking eight here, so we like have to kind of... They only have two cards in hand, though. I guess they're, they kind of have four because they get to draw a card and draw their card for the turn. L trees is bad internet. I don't have bad internet. I don't know why the, the the phone call was perfectly fine for the first three or so hours of this. I don't know why it, you're kind of breaking up now. You're breaking up. Breaking up is it's hard to do. It's not that you're breaking up. It's like your your voice is like being warped. And uh, Inkwell cannot lifelink for eleven because they cannot equip a batter skull to a shroud creature. Why phone and not like this is Discord. This is literally Discord that we're using. Get it together, Cosme. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're just going to get to that guy. Yeah, that guy's fine. That works too, I guess. Well, everyone says phone call. No one's going to say Discord call. Come on. Now oh, I'm making a Discord call with my grandson. <laughs> oh, boy. We're having a good time. Well, we should start thinking about our sideboard. Oh, Terminus. Interesting. That's good to know about. Well, they have no mana here, which is great for us. So we're good to draw... F or we get to gain life. Who is Elk Trees? Which mic is this? Oh, you know. 
You might remember me from such streams as the 15-hour stream. <laughs> Good times. I'm handsome, Mike. I'm, I'm that Mike that's looking like a snack right now. I'm Snack Mike. It's true. He is Snack Mike. Well, Frank, we, get to go, we get to go back to eight, on. so if we can deal with either of these, we're in okay shape. Frank, you should go on your Facebook and uh, 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 get a headshot of me and slide it over to the screen so everyone uh, can see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, treachery? Oh. That actually does it. We can steal the looter with the batter skull. They'd have to re-equip yeah. it, and then we only take seven, but we're gaining four, so... Yeah. I like that. Oh, and then we can play Sword of Body and Mind. And equip it. And, oh, we can uh, equip it to the Batter Skull so that, like, we just gain two more life. Yeah, I like that. Or we can equip it to the Stone Forge because that's probably... No, I guess they just block that. No, and I'd rather have it yeah, on the I like, I like equipping it to the Batter Skull. Wow, Zedrate, I can confirm Elk Tears is a certified hottie and an awesome kisser. Wow. That's... Whew, it's getting hot in here, boys. And now we left them with the one creature that actually can't be equipped with the Batter Skull, so that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Well, they can equip all the mirror tokens. Yeah, but we can block those. Okay, don't yell at me. We can block them, Matthew! We have two batter skulls right now. That's pretty cool. I wish batter skull was legendary and then we could just kill one of theirs. Let's put it on the Germany boy. The German boy? The, put it on the German boy. Oh, German boy. German boy. I get no doubt. I get up again. We're going to gain some life. We're going to 10 here. That's pretty safe. I'm okay with it. All right. Get your block on. Uh, equipping the looter seems worse because then we... Why? We can't attack. And also, the treachery would fall off, so why would we ever do that? I don't understand. Oh, God. Whenever they start tapping their mana, like, insanely quickly i get I oh get my rolled. god that was just like an instant tap oh, oh god what is this, oh. Emberpool? no no we just lose cool do we yeah they, yes we do they deal you're us right. 14 you're right i forgot about island walk cool what were they thinking with ink will leviathan really is that is that busted Wow, we got. We're like, hey guys, if we can, we can, we can navigate this situation so we narrowly survive by stealing their literal core, and then we start coming back, and then they're like, no, nah, I'll just kill you. I mean, those are just the feel bads when you like try so hard from such a, a we get a, so far, but in the end, it doesn't even really matter, you know? Yes, that's why that song is in the trailer. It's just for everyone playing Magic. I feel like Manic tries so hard to stabilize. That's it's literally the Magic theme song. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, what happened that game? I don't know. We tried really hard and we got really far, but in the end, it didn't really matter. So. It didn't even matter because they had time warp. What do you think of Mana Tithe and Face Fetters here? I like them both. Me too. Me too. I think I feel like Gideon. Can we cut Gideon? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think Gideon is great in this matchup. What about one more card? Path Dexile? I don't really see Path... Well... Maybe Journey to Nowhere? Yeah, maybe Journey. Because, like, neither of those cards... Journey doesn't deal with Batter Skull or... Uh, or uh, well, Leviathan. Neither, neither does Path, though. Yeah, I know. Which is why I'm saying we, we should cut one of them. I think Path is the better one to cut. Or the, or the one to keep. Right. I got you, fam. I don't want to be caught with my pants down with no hard removal, okay? Well, especially not, especially not with those hard nipples, am I right? <laughs> uh, I got the 
And got so far. Is this keepable? One white and it's good. I, I feel fine. like I feel like Metamorph's very good in this matchup, so is Control Magic, so. Yeah, I like this hand. Also, the uh, container store coupon for those curious was 20% off a bathroom you'll brag about. So. What? Oh, cute. Oh, cute. You should do a IRL live stream where you go to the container store. I just went to the container, like, container store like a week and a half ago and I got some drop box, some shoe, uh, shoe boxes, drop front shoe boxes from the container store. Angel of Sanctions was a really bad draw. I, oh, look, they got a mock strip. Well, oh, for God's sake. I guess we can metamorph it. Now we can't. So that's pretty much game, right? Like, we have no way to deal with this unless we draw, like, runner, runner, white, white. And then we go, we take seven, we do one mana, we go copy it, we take another seven, and then we can... can. No, actually, we have two. We, have to, we need three runners. We'd have to have white, white, council's judgment. Yeah. I think we're just dead. I think so, too. Uh, if, if these were, like, Sea Chrome Coast Plains, I think we'd have a game, but... But that's just that's just obnoxious. I hate that the turn to the turn two tinker with a mox is just. Oh uh, yeah, when we can't even hit a third land, so. Oh yeah, this is that that would have not ended our. No, we would have been dead. We would not have been alive. That is correct. Well, that sucks. I mean, sometimes you get so far and you you work so hard, but in the end, like. In the end, matter. it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. And if you guys are looking for a sweet wardrobe wardrobe upgrade, you can definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. You can find a nice clickable link in the description below. So definitely check that out. I believe they have some sweet Star Wars stuff right now with uh, lounge pants, onesies, underwear, socks, etc., etc. I will play first. I assume Matthew will as well. Uh, no, let's play second. Huh? I'm gonna keep this. I think this is this is good. See, this is a great hand. Where was this hand last game? Up your bee hole, perhaps. Hmm? Okay. Whatever, man. Deal with it. Screen sharing is such a weird thing. What they totally have Star Wars up right now. Here, look, I'll show it to you guys. There you go. Wait. Elk Tears has a bee hole? <laughs> it's called a jail purse. Wow. Wow. That's dark. This is a this is an after hour wow. stream if I've ever heard one. Is that dark? What's dark about that? I don't know. Prisoners putting stuff in their butt. <laughs> That's not dark. That's life, Matthew. Life is dark. That's not dark. That's the HBO hit drama Oz. <laughs> Tuesdays at 8 on ABC. Oh my god, Oz is so dark, dude. It's a really messed up it's show. It's unbelievable. Watch watch that show, and then watch one of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. <laughs> <laughs> just well, oh. just like the, the complete polar opposites of characters that uh, J.K. Simmons plays. Oh my god, J.K. Simmons is amazing. I mean, he's, he's fantastic. His right. range is incredible. His, that's what I mean. Like, his range is nuts. For like someone who I think uh, an unkeen eye would peg as, like, a one-trick pony or, or very, like, kind of typecast in person, his range is incredible. No, after I saw him on anything, after I saw him on Oz, I was like, this is the same guy? I feel the same way about, I don't know his real name. Wait, uh, wait, whoa, what you doing? I'm playing Tamio. Just running Tamio out there? Wow. Bold. Yeah, they, they have one island, dude. I ain't. I, I think Wait, you're playing another blue white deck? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Was this just like blue? Wasn't the first deck we played blue and white too? Do you know the, do you know the name of the actor who plays Red Foreman on that 70s show? Oh, uh, I forget his name. The guy from uh, Robocop. Yes. He was another actor where I was like, Wait, this guy plays the Robocop guy. And it blew my mind because I was like, these characters are so completely different. Yeah. 
It's just a solid range. Oh, I oh, well, I guess we just win the game. They we they conceded. Oh, okay. Our deck is too I good. I looked down for a second. I looked up, and when you said "oh" like that, I thought you accidentally conceded. Yeah, I accidentally right clicked, clicked on concede, and then confirmed with the yes. It was like it was a series of unfortunate. Hey, events. but I've seen you do a lot of misclicks on this stream, and you know it wouldn't be that out of the out of hmm. the. Uh, Fair, but that would have been like four misclicks in a row. In a row. I feel like I saw you do a really. I like this hand. I feel like I saw you do a really oppressive one recently. Impressive? No, oppressive. Like you really just oh, like. I, I oppressed myself. You mean? I think it was. Oh, it was like the storm draft, and you ended up. You accidentally. Uh... Oh, I I floated mana, but then I used all the incorrect mana, and then I right. couldn't cast like my storm spell. Right. Yes. Lotus. It's on the Lotus. I forgot we had Lotus. We That's don't. Good too. <laughs> no, wait, we don't have Lotus. I know. That's what I'm saying. It was just a joke. Oh. You can also tell by like how quickly this resolved at the F6, which gives me a good idea they don't have a counterspell. At least a two-mana counterspell. Man, you're really keen on noticing that. I feel like I never noticed that. It's You can tell, like, watch how fast this resolves. Like, there's no response time. It just goes right here, and then it just pops right down. Right now, they might have, like, disallow or something, but apparently not. I don't think it was Palancron. Like I think we wanted a Manamorphose, but we used all the red for the Manamorphose. I don't think I had right. anything with Palancron. Is this another blue white artifact deck? What they discard? Uh, Batter Skull. Yes. Are these? Are you? Are you just playing up multiple versions of uh, of yourself of Frank Lepore in different alternate universes? Gideon yes. too. This is just the same deck. Well, we'll we're gonna judgment that. Uh, no, I'll keep that. I have a handful of five drops. I will... Or do we play Tomato? No, I guess they just kill Tomato with Gideon. Right, and they just activate it and get another get another token. I think yeah, we're just Yeah, I think we this. gotta... Or, or we could Treachery the Knight. I was thinking that too, and then Time Warp to attack Gideon for two. But then that doesn't really do anything either, because Gideon still stays alive. Oh, I just think I just think treachery the knife and judgment the uh, Gideon. I don't care about the tutu though; is the problem. I don't want to waste treachery on like a tutu. Oh, uh, true. It seems unimpressive. All right. I'm just thinking of keeping our Tamiya safe. Hey, I'm walking here. I know. You, I know uh, a little bit of a faux pas to talk about other streamers on the stream, but I don't is know. Is that a faux you... pas? I have. I did the other day. I watched um, Saffron did a, a Tamio, a deck that had all three Tamios in it. Yikes! And it's like a Tamio tribal deck, and it's pretty. See, I'd rather how... treachery that. It's pretty oh, incredible. Yeah, let's treachery that. It's pretty incredible how they how well they work together. Really. Because if you emblem, do if you too, emblem yes. blue Tamio, mono blue Tamio, the one in our deck, do we want that? I feel like we just want to land, right? We really do just want to land, especially with. Uh, yeah, you can go to the graveyard. Because because if we treachery, we can, we actually can't cast a five drop afterwards. Oh, we can just control magic this guy. Okay, that, I like that. Because we really have nothing to do with four mana. Right. So I'd rather get this out of the way, and then we can potentially build towards these. Um, if you emblem blue Tamio, your upticks on the new Tamio, where you're like naming a card and then... All those cards go to your hand? They all go to your hand. That's interesting. So you just name a card down your deck, and then you just you draw four cards. Your four cards. Got them. Yes. Then the other Tamiyo, uh, if you emblem, the one from Eldritch Moon, every card you cast, you, you can cast for free. Yes, yeah, so let's keep that. So what do you want to do? Treachery, Time Warp, Tamiyo? Yeah. I like oh, that. wow. They're Vendillion clicking us? 
Oh, that's sure. I mean, that's fine. We still have if the, treachery. I think is the best thing they can take here, but I think we're still fine if we just time warp in Tamio. Yeah. They took the treachery. They saw the line. They did. I mean, we still have... Actually, if we could time warp here, we can snapcast or time warp next turn, too. Yeah, that might be better. What are we doing with all these turns? Yeah, we might be better if we just put Tamio first. I think we just play Tamio first and tap down Brazilian Click. Yeah, I can get behind that. I'm getting behind it. I, just, I think the only thing we're doing with this turn is just getting more like search for his cantons. We can't really attack with Brimaz. Well, we can, but it's not great. Is click non land? Yes, click is non land. Otherwise, you could just click yourself in the late game and be like, I'm just going to draw an extra card, get rid of this land. Uh, did you say you're going to click yourself later? I don't want to talk about it. Click, click, boom. I knew you were going to do that. I was feeling it. I was like, here we go. Here we go. I give it up for the Tamio on the that's, radio. That's a totally different click, song. Click, boom. Is that not a different song? It's the same song. It felt like you were combining Limp Biscuit. No, you thought I was doing I did it all for the Nookie. Correct. That's where I thought you were going. I don't know the other lyrics to the POD song. Click click boom. Uh oh. Everflowing Chalice. That doesn't that does nothing. Well now he, he's representing uh Supreme Will. He's not representing Supreme Verdict. Anything. He's not representing anything. Oh, Metamorph? Oh, that's interesting. What do we uh, copy with that? Tamio. <laughs> Actually, nothing, I guess. We can just graveyard it. Yeah. Snake me up inside. Can't snake up. Um, I'm just going to put it in the graveyard. It's not yeah. exciting. It's going to be a land, though, and then I'll feel, oh, okay, it's been doing click a loop. Yeah, click, click, boom. All right, now we time warp. Well, wait, hold on. What? Okay, never mind. I'm going to tap this dude. And then attack, right? I'm going to play a thing first. Because this might... Do you have the mana to play click and uh, time warp? No, or one shy. But next turn... In the future... Also, Tamio and Brimaz is kind of a nombo because... You know... Oh, right. They they never tap... However, we could tap one more of their creatures this turn, and then next turn draw three. I kind of like oh, that. Oh, that's true. That is true. Let's see what we got here. Nope, that can go in the graveyard. That's unexciting. An island! Oh, God. We're going to snapcast our time warp now? Yeah, everybody knows. Uh, we can't ultimate Tamio because it costs eight. So we'd have to go up to eight next turn. I mean, it's very possible that we could wait. But... Oh my god! No, I want to. I want to draw three cards. It's real close though. God, and then we get. Oh my god! Then we get another turn after this. Forget about it. Good night, nurse. One punch, dead. Monastery Mentor, huh? I'll probably keep that. Because depending on what we draw off Tamiyo, it could be pretty nuts. Yeah, I like that. We could also tap this. If we tap the Vendillion, we might have to tap the Vendillion click down. They actually have no pressure for Tamiyo. Tamiyo goes to five if we draw three. I think you just draw three here, man. While you have the Tamiyo. Fascinating. Right. So if we tap this down, neither of these, none of these untap, and we can also Vendillion clip them on their draw step to make sure they uh, don't have any pressure. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. How's it going? How are you? 
sound good. Are you gaming in here? I'm live streaming right now. Oh, sorry. No worries. No one on. Oh, these sunglasses are cool. Thanks. I like the shirt. <laughs> good to see you. What brings you to town? <laughs> uh, I borrowed Jake's car. Oh, okay. And I was returning to people. Yeah. We'll get back to your gaming. All right. I thought I'd say hello. We'll catch up another time. Okay. I had a run. All right. But. I'm live streaming right now. Hello? I hope he gives Jake's car back in time. Sorry, I was going through a tunnel. <laughs> oh, what happened? You didn't draw three? No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna like we don't we don't cube draft to make mediocre draw three plays, man. I'm live streaming right now. What brings you to town? I was, uh, for those that want to know, that was my, uh, dad, that was my old roommate. His name's Max Melman. That's the um, most amazing New York name I've ever heard. His name is Max Melman. And, uh, he, uh, was paying us a visit. Don't have cryptic command tap my team counter. That would be good. Oh, we just win the match. That'll do. I guess that'll do. All right. Another two, one fancy i'm okay with it thank wow, you guys for fast. watching i know that was quick because our opponent was like i'm good i've seen enough our deck was great we lost did, some tinker shenanigans why didn't you invite max melon to stream with us that seems pretty rude uh you don't need to grab him <laughs> yeah go see what he's up to what are you doing this afternoon buddy Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. As I've showed, there are sweet Star Wars uh, items up there, so you can check those out. You can also find me at manatraders.com. The link and the promo code for 20% off the first three months are in my description. And uh, check out coolstuffinc.com as well. Uh, with promo code Frank5, you can get 5% off. And you can find the articles that I write there every week. So thanks for watching. Elk Tears thanks you for watching. Guys, have a great day great day thank you for watching this youtube video thank you for supporting frank laporte's channel he's the hardest working guy in magic right now <laughs> we love him his fans love him he's got a unique sense of humor he has a good energy he embraces all the all the best aspects of magic he embraces that and he does in none of the worst so give him some love smash that like and subscribe button check out all his affiliates and just just have fun. Go to go to F and M this week. Think about Frank. Think about how his decisions in life and in this game and what he does for you. How they influence you and what you want to do with the game. And just have fun with it, man. Oh, we Build got a dance in the chat. Color Planeswalker decks. Just do it. Do it for Frank. Do it for Frank. There you go. There have you a go. great night, everyone. We'll see it. We'll see you on Tuesday. We're not leaving. I'm just ending the Keep YouTube touch. video. Okay. All right, For those we're done. watching on Twitch, close everything. Close the applications. We're going out on a high note. We're going out like Seinfeld, leaving them wanting more. We love you. God bless. Take care of yourselves. Give you and you know what? Controversial take. Give your mom a call tonight. Give your dad a call. Give your folks a call. Let them know you're doing okay. You know they're empty nesters now. They want to. They want to hear from you. Is that a God controversial bless. take? We love you. Have a great summer. Thank you, Frank. Give it up for Frank, everyone. Can we get some some uh, some tribute in the chat for Frank? And just just do it, you know? Just have fun with it. Go out there. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the button and end this thing, guys. I'm really, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really sorry. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>